Welcome to Thrifty Garage, and in today's video, we'll be comparing oil pans. Might seem like an odd topic, but this is probably a video that I wish I would have watched uh, before purchasing these. So let's bring you in a little bit closer, and show you what you've got. This is the one I recently purchased. So let's go ahead and go back to this old one and see what's wrong with it. So I've had this one for a number of years. This is actually the second one of this style that I've bought. And you can pick these up at you know your normal auto parts stores. And it's got you know your specific, you know, your normal functions. You got a vent here, you've got a, a twist lock here, which pops out and lets the oil in. You've got a little bit of a, a raised lip to set your oil filter there, and then you've got a drain hole here. And you can see here on this one. First of all, this, this is broke, and also the cap is broke. Yeah, you can see light through there. So that's the biggest problem with this one, is that cap broke, and that's the exact same problem that happened with the first one I had like this. Um, as far as catching oil, holding it, all that works fine. It's hard to get all the oil out because it's got all these little lips and everything, and so it's hard to clean out. So with having that broken lid, what I've noticed is when I empty it, uh, there will be residual oil left in here, and then it'll continue to drip after I'm done. So when I was using this one, I would actually uh, stick a rag in here and clean out this end, and then I would also store it upright so that it wouldn't leak. And you can see here where this leaks. Um, anybody that's dealt with these oil pans, it's kind of just part of them. So when I was looking for a one to replace this one, I wanted something that would be more durable than the issues I faced with this. I did find one that I really, really liked. It was for motorcycles, but the capacity was just way too small. And I've got an SUV and a diesel truck. I just can't use a small thing. I found a lot of guys in the car world actually using that motorcycle one, and it fit their car oil capacity, um, but I, it just wouldn't work for me. So there's out with the old, in with the new. So this is the best one I found after searching high and low for the most durable and capable um, oil catch pan without going to the extreme of, of buying a shop grade catch pan. Um, so this does feel, actually it feels lighter, but for whatever reason, maybe it's just the texture on it, it feels stronger. Um, it has a vent, which actually doesn't work very well, but it's the exact same type of vent as that one. I'm not really concerned about the vent. That's not where I'm losing oil out. That's not where I've got issues. It's got this unscrew cap, which again, not entirely fond of this design because I can lose this. But the main reason I bought this, the main issue I had with that one, was this top cap. And this top cap looks like it's a double cap. It looks kind of like it's um, a cap you might find on a gas can where you unscrew this and this is a middle insert. Um, it's not the case, it's just a, a big solid cap, um, but it's heavy duty. And I believe these threads are the same as what you might find on a normal oil pan. Um, so I think you might, if this cap were to ever break, you could maybe replace it. But the threads on this are very bulky and beefy, and I'm very much happy with that. Um, so here's the specs on it. It is a flow tool, uh, super dirty, super duty. 16 quart drain container, um, leak proof, all these you know all these different gadgets and features. Look, here's a here's a gasket that fell off. Searching high and low, this is the best one I could find. It really isn't that high priced. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy it. Um, but here's kind of my quick review and comparison between these two. Um, it does have more features, if you will. We've got this little place where you can set your, your um, filter here to drain it, or you can set it over here. You got this oil drain plug storage, which, you know, all this stuff is kind of, kind of weird, kind of trendy stuff, if you will. It doesn't really affect me. Again, I, I want function over form, and the function of this is right here. Uh, as far as catching the, the coverage area, it's about the same. This is actually a much deeper pan, um, but I do feel like these two holes are about the same for flow as this other hole. 
for whatever reason, they, they kind of take in the oil about the same. Um, with this, I could also enlarge this hole out to be much, much larger. Um, it is nice to have these smaller holes here in case you drop a nut or a bolt or something in there to catch that. Hopefully these are some good items to think about when you're going to purchase your next oil catch pan. Um, these are definitely some things I looked into and wanted to have some durability that I didn't have in my previous unit. So I'm happy so far. We'll see how it turns out in the long run. Um, if it does tend to break or has issues that I haven't seen now, I'll definitely do an update video. If you're looking forward to that, uh, hit the subscribe button. We've got other similar content as well, so check out those videos. And uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Oh, and I probably should mention, this probably has some residual oil in it uh, that may be causing the weight difference as well. So, see you later.